Hey guys, it's Risto and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be learning about trails and this will be kind of a beginner tutorial. We did kind of go over beams in our last video, um, but today we're going to be talking about trails and showing how you can make some pretty cool stuff using them. Now, first things first, the downside of trails is <laughs> in studio it's kind of hard to see how they look without, you know, like moving them around. So uh, just for demonstration purposes, I kind of made a little... Uh, I have a little thing here that I'll just rotate it so we can just kind of keep track of how it looks. Now we're just going to do this while running the game, um, messing around with our little trail, just to make it easier. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, here we go. So now, kind of same thing as our beams. We are going to need two attachments in our part. I'll select these so you can see them there. We're going to need two attachments in our part, and then we can have a trail. Now, our trail, of course, needs to have an attachment on, um, have both of its attachments set to the attachments in your part, and then you can use your trail. As you can see, it'll draw a trail between them, and now I just kind of mess around with these a little bit, <laughs> but um, let's uh, see what it looks like by default, just for an uh, example. Now. Yeah, so here's what it's going to look like without anything uh, done to it, and we're just going to go over this and make it look pretty nice. Um, do keep in mind, we will keep it simple, as I said in this video, because it's going to be kind of a beginner tutorial, and then I'll have a more advanced tutorial, and then, who knows, maybe some tutorials for stuff like sword trails or um, player effect trails or stuff like that, you know. But for now, we're just going to kind of go over the basics. Now, we do have a lot of similar properties to particles and beams, so it's kind of good that we learned those first, and now we can do trails, which are just a little bit more kind of, I don't know, they're, they're a little bit different just because of how they only show up when there's movement. So trails do kind of go hand in hand with scripting, um, because, you know, unless it's just going to be static, then it's not really going to show up. First things first, uh, we have a face camera thing, which is the same as particles and, um, well not the same as particles, but the same as trails, so now you can see it's going to face towards our camera. Now. For now, I'm just going to leave it on off, just because I think it looks a little bit better, and we can kind of tell what's happening a little better. But we do have color. Um, same idea as particles and beams. We can set a single color, or we can kind of have a little um, gradient as well. So we can get a couple different effects with this. You know, we can have a, we can have all sorts of patterns. This is um, pretty cool. You know, something like that uh, is already looking kind of interesting. But for now, I just kind of set it to a blue color. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll do, we'll do blue gradient. Why not? Blue gradient. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> now, um, we're going to set our transparency to zero just so we can see how it looks in all of its glory. And first things first, over here, well, I keep saying first things first, but none of this is really <laughs> the first thing. But we have our light emission and light influence. Light influence, of course, is uh, affected by the lighting in your game, and light emission emits light out of your uh, trail just like with particles and beams. Now, once we have light emission on, we can also change our brightness, similarly how we did it with beams. Um, so we could have a giant glowing uh, trail if we wanted, but I think we'll just leave it on zero and then have light uh, influence on. Texture and texture length and texture mode, those are all the same as beams. We can go ahead and grab a texture. We'll do a little uh, lightning texture right here. Now that doesn't look too good. Um, actually, we'll throw some light emission on there too. But texture length, if we increase this, then that'll be more like more segments basically in our uh, trail. Um, but we can also do static. So that looks really cool. It's kind of like drawing lightning. I actually didn't uh, <laughs> know you could do that until right now, but that's really cool. I kind of like that effect. We'll kind of use that in a future video, I think. <laughs> that would be kind of awesome. But. We're just going to leave it on, we'll just do it on like 3 for now. Um, actually no, we'll just take away our texture length, uh, or texture in general, and then get rid of our light emission. And now that we have all that basi uh, basics covered, we also have transparency obviously, but um, you know, let's go over transparency, why not? So as you can see with transparency, we can kind of have our transparency effects like we would with anything else. So we can kind of make it fade in and then fade back out. Uh, we'll kind of give these uh, complete opaqueness just so we can see them a little better. So we can have them dip in like this, you know, maybe have like a middle one there. 
something like this. That looks pretty interesting. Uh, kind of fades through that. Now, uh, let's just reset this real quick. And let's just give it a really simple um, fade away. Here we go. Brighten this color a little bit. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we're just going to like that. Now, we're going to go down here, and here is where things start getting pretty interesting. These are our new properties that are unique to um, trails. Um, aside from enabled and lifetime, uh, these are kind of self explanatory. Lifetime is, of course, how long it lasts, but for trails, it's going to be how long the trail will last in uh, itself. So, as you can see here, um, it will kind of overlap because the lifetime is still going. We can have it all the way down here, so it's just kind of one little moving, uh, one little moving particle or uh, trail. I don't really, yeah, just a trail. We'll just do something like this. Um, now for our other unique things, max length is how long our trail can be maximum, and min length is how long our control be our trail can be minimum. And now you can't really tell with these because of the speed it's moving at. So we're gonna actually have to go and uh, do this, and we'll go ahead and let me just make this go a little faster. So we'll just make it like 0.2. There we go. Now because it'll be going faster now. Uh, yeah, we'll just use this as a base. This is going faster now. As you can see, if we give it a max length, we can do one. So that is the absolute maximum that it can be. Um, but if we increase this max, uh, max length, of course, then you can see our trail can be uh, can be longer. So you can always limit how long your trail will be um, determined on the speed. So say you don't want it to get too long, but you're going extremely fast, and there you go. You can just set a max length that is reasonable, so the trail isn't proportionate to how fast you're going, right? Uh, min length, same thing. Say you want it to be uh, within a certain threshold. Um, so we uh, have to have, we have to be going fast enough for it to even stick around long enough, you know? Um, but let's just go mess around with these real quick. Let's um, set our texture length back to one, and we'll give our transparency this again. Uh, there we go. Um, oh yeah, because um, our transparency isn't, it's kind of overlapping with our max length. We won't be able to see the transparency properly. Now, we kind of have our cool little rotating trail here, but let's look at the last unique property to trails, which is width scale. And as you can see here, um, we do have width in beams, but width scale is a little bit different for trails because it kind of um, changes uh, based on, it's sort of like transparency. So as you can see, we can have our graph here. Now we can make it shrink all the way down so it can start big and then kind of get smaller. It's similar to size with particles, except you know, a, a trail has width, it doesn't really have size. But we can have all sorts of things we can make and go up and down. <laughs> we can have a really interesting trail. And this can actually kind of be used to make a sort of texture for your trail without even like having a um, without even having a texture. So you kind of make a bunch of unique little things with this. But for now, I think we'll just kind of construct a pretty simple trail. So we're just going to go ahead and reset that. Um, we're going to start with scale uh, at one, and then we'll have it fade away. Maybe go a little faster. That's something. Uh, Something like that looks pretty cool. Now, something to note with these is you can't actually change the, uh, you can't actually have a, an envelope on them, as you can see here, or uh, envelope. So you can't have it fade to uh, kind of within a range. So it's always just the exact values. And I feel like that is kind of good because uh, if you did have that envelope, then it would uh, it would make your texture look a little bit weird when, you're, when your trail is moving. Um, but, you know, I'm not really too worried about that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and just make a quick little trail here. Uh, I'll get some colors going and we'll get back to you. Okay, we kind of have a rainbow here, and we're going to go ahead and actually change our width scale. We want it to get smaller later, so we can kind of have a thicker trail that will get smaller after um, all that. And for our transparency, we're also going to change this just so we can kind of see our colors better. And I think we're going to go ahead and actually make this color a lot brighter or uh, darker rather. And then with this maybe, you know. There we go. So as you can see we kind of have a cool trail effect. I think it's because our 
speed and his uh our speed makes it look a little bit weird. Uh but that's kind of an introduction to trails. I guess this video is kind of all over the place, you know. Uh I don't really have a plan coming into this video and <laughs> I have been a little bit rusty because I haven't recorded in a while, but hope you guys did learn something with this video. Um if you guys did enjoy remember to like, comment, and subscribe and uh play find the bananas, uh all that. Join Dev Center, uh, the Discord, join all our groups, join everything. <laughs> you already know the drill, like, comment, and subscribe. But we do also have a, a new game coming out very, very soon. We might have some information on it tomorrow. I might have a video coming out, depending on how ready we are to show off the game. Um, anyways, if you did enjoy, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and all this stuff I already said. But thanks for watching. Peace.